So you work now as an electronic music DJ and a producer. Um, was incorporating birdsong into your work something you always knew you wanted to do, or did that come about? How did that come about? Yeah, so I mean, I was um, through music. It takes time to to create your identity, right? To create your own sound, and and for me, I I spent a lot of time reaching to this point of of wanting to make music that's uh, the meeting point between Latin American folk traditions, electronic music, and organic natural sounds, right? Which made a lot of sense. Um, and I started experimenting with using birdsong. So the very first EP I released, which is in 2012, which now seems a long time ago, um, was called A Guide to the Birds of South America. And it was just four tracks of Amazonian species. Um, and it was that was the very first time where I chose specific songs of specific birds as the inspiration behind a track. And it's just a creative challenge, which is completely different. You know, making a track using bird song because it's so melodic, because it's it gives you a different approach to making music. And you know, after that EP, I was just kind of hooked for like, wow, this is something that musicians have done for hundreds of years, um, but very few kind of electronic musicians modern day. And so it's a really interesting different way of making music, I found. Speaking of uh, your 2012 EP, A Guide to the Birds of South America, I'm looking at it uh, on Bandcamp right now. I see five tracks, Amazonian species. I think the natural bird lister in me is already checking to see how many of them I've seen. <laughs> I've got four, I, I have four out of five, all of which are in Colombia. So Diego, I want to see how many of these you've seen. So we've got Great Jacamar. I know you've seen that. Absolutely. Uh, Pavanine Quetzal, I'm sure, right? Indeed. Not Tropicals. in the Amazon, but I've got it. Yeah. No? Nice. Uh, Tropical Screech Owl. I know you've got that. That's yep. like, yeah. Got it here in the, back, in the backyard here. <laughs> Common Pauraque. Common Pauraque. Absolutely. Yep. Bujio. And the one that I haven't seen, which I don't think is in Colombia, unless it's been discovered in the middle of Me Too, is the Spix's Wood Creeper. Oh, no. No. It's actually, yeah, it's not, it's not, not no, one it's not we in have Columbia. in Colombia and not one we, I have yet. That's not very common. Normally, Diego's seen a lot more of things than I've seen, but there you go anyway. 